In this video, it's goodbye Yugo Sana. Uh, we are um, clearing it out. Well, we've already cleared it out. We've just been clearing a bit of stuff of it jackets. this morning. Uh, we shall move the fox and we shall roll the Yugo Sana out. A project too far, it turns out. And uh, I'm a bit saddened by that, but perhaps I got a bit carried away after successfully reviving uh, the Invercar. My 2CV, of course, was rebuilt very early days of the channel, reviving this Reliant Fox that sat engineless uh, for a couple of years on a Welsh farm. Um, but, but perhaps I got a bit carried away, says the person who's in the middle of an engine change on a Daihatsu Charade. Uh, but uh, yeah, this has just got too far. But the, the person who's taken it on um, has some useful Serbian contacts and a whole load of enthusiasm. He has fabricating skills, so the bit of rot up the back there it's not going to be an issue. So I very, very much hope to be reunited with this car a little later on. If you've never seen a small lady trying to very, very quietly wheel the trolley jack before, there's your moment. They, they are noisy, noisy things. Uh, sorry, we've only got one mic on because uh, we've managed to flatten the dual mic kit. So we're just charging that up. So uh, you might get both of us later on. But yeah, it's a bit of a shame. It would have been very interesting, but like I say, I would still like to drive this car and hopefully that can still happen and uh, that would be um, good times indeed because I'm, I'm so curious to try one and I've owned this for well we're getting on for two years this summer won't it mm -hmm. and just haven't got near it at all it's a bit of a shame we, we established the engine turns uh, that that's about all we managed you go yeah, it's got Yugoslavia all over it Do you want to pop the bonnet we're actually built by Zastava uh, in what is now Serbia, uh, former Yugoslavia, where you went on holiday as a child, I believe. I did indeed, yeah, when I was about three. And um, it's actually where my parents discovered I was asthmatic. Oh, pine trees. so there you go. Um, <laughs> so I own the bonnet then. Yeah, there is the engine, Fiat derived, very similar to the Tipo, made in Yugoslavia, Aspen white. Uh, yeah, I, I don't know the history of this car at all, really. It was claimed to be a sort of one owner car. But there's, an, there's enough in this, the way it's been mucked about with, the way the tailgate had been removed completely, to make me think that actually this has been in the scrapyard at some point. But uh, nonetheless, it is still here. It has survived. One of very few left in the UK. Um, I know of two others, I think. Uh, one down in Sussex and another one rumoured to be on a driveway in the Wirral. I've never seen either car in the flesh. But. Oh, maybe, maybe there are more, but they're, they're a very rare car. But uh, yeah, we shall um, get some air in the tyres, uh, move Foxanne, and roll her out. And poised. Poised. So after yet another round of car Tetris, we now got Foxanne there, Ellie is here, uh, Ellie awaiting her new engine, Foxanne just awaiting an excuse to take her out again, really. But uh, there's a classic car show coming up at the end of the month. But if we go as a family, we can't go in Foxanne. Are we talking the rally one? Yeah. There's only us at home. Oh, yeah. So we could go in Foxanne. Yeah. Oh, well, maybe we'll do that then. Because yeah. the alternative is to take a 2CV with a very dead engine. But really, we thought we'd um, have a wander around this um, Sana for posterity. It does have, the eagle-eyed will have noticed, two different number plates. Because when um, I bought the car, someone had managed to... Um, source another tailgate so that has been fitted from another car and it's still got the old car's reg on it what line the curve of the rear window yeah it's a lovely touch uh, let's get this the right way around this is styled by Giorgetto Giugiaro of Ital Design and uh, yeah it's a lovely detail the curved rear window sort of reminds me of the Citroen GS estate where it curves at the top just a nice detail. Um, lots of people will look at this and instantly think Citroen ZX. The Citroen ZX was styled by Bertoni working with Citroen. And this came out first. So um, if anyone was looking at anyone, it was Bertoni having the nose of what his old pal Giugiaro was doing. But uh, we've got one wheel trim. I think we've got more wheel trims in there. Yeah, so we've got, oh yeah, the, the uh, Interior trim is mostly ruined, but that bit isn't. That looks lovely. Glorious. Very 1990s. Yeah, this is from 1990. But just as they'd really started selling these in Europe, 
Um, unfortunately, um, it all got a bit wary over in the former Yugoslavia and uh, sanctions and uh, war damage meant production pretty much came to a halt. Um, they did manage to revive production, but uh, really only for the home market, where it was sold as the Zastava Florida, or Florida. And uh, they actually facelifted it. I think it was in production until 2008. That is the door handle, yeah, to open the door. Yeah, yeah. there's lots of interesting things. I mean, look at, look, at, look at the dashboard. The dashboard's interesting. It's sort of very Fiat-esque, like the Fiat Uno. So you've got all these fingertip controls for the wipers, the rear wiper, you've got lights over there, and then just a solitary indicator stalk for indicator purposes. Five-speed gearbox, 1.4 litre Fiat-derived engine. For Zastava was effectively um, it license-built Fiat, so it was kind of like a foreign sister company. And uh, yeah, it's actually quite an interesting car. It was a pretty decent car. I mean, this was an era where a cheap car was still cheap, so it wasn't perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but for the asking price, they were pretty good. It's quite backwards in some ways, like the rear seat belts are still statics. There are not inertia real rear seat belts. Um, so you got a, a funky futuristic dashboard, but you didn't get proper adjustable seat belts. Uh, so yeah, it's a, a shame that we haven't managed to progress this one any further. But uh, such is life. Unfortunately, look, we've got a Yugo manual that someone sent us. Now, someone else sent me these documents. And uh, I, I think he'd probably be happy for these to go with the car as long as th they could go back to him um, if they're not being used. I have a feeling we've got two manuals, so I might have to go have a quick search around. So I think we have got another manual for this car, um, which um, may help. I, I found those manuals actually contain pretty much next to nothing but he's actually useful. But I think they called it Florida because I think they were hoping to sell this model in America. I think that was their ambition. Uh, it was sold to something else in Belgium, I think. I forget what it was sold as in Belgium, but it's the Sana here in the UK. Um, but they'd had some success in America selling these earlier models, the um, 45, 55, 65 models. Um, I, I think Mr. Bricklin was involved with that, as I recall. So. Yugos were sold in America, and like I say, I think this was their, their next step up for a better quality car. But uh, yeah, I, I, I'm disappointed we haven't managed to do more with it. But uh, needless to say, I've, I've already replaced it with a, a Citroen Berlingo, which will be um, a lot more useful for the family. But yeah, a very interesting car, uh, and uh, I, I wish you new owners well um, with uh, bringing it back to use. Look at that, Yuko Export. Okay, Yugo Cars by Zastava. And there we go. Uh, this uh, Volkswagen Touareg is going to be taking the Sana away. Uh, keep an eye out on the Fuel Power YouTube channel. And uh, it may well be cropping up on there. Uh, but uh, yeah, hopefully we can see some restoration of this old girl. She deserves it. Bye bye, Sana. Thank you very much for uh, being an interesting vehicle I did nothing with. Um, but uh, yeah, that's the end of an era. It's quite sad watching it drive away, but uh, I've got more than enough to be keeping me busy. Uh, we've already done some improvement works on the Berlingo. The engine project on the Sharad is still ongoing. Uh, we had a few issues with the thrust bearing. We were hoping to get the gearbox back on today. We didn't manage that, but yeah, it's all in progress. We're getting there. And uh, yeah, very exciting times. So, uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. Um, don't forget, you can head to the Hubnut store if you wish. We've got cable ties, T-shirts, mugs, stickers, fridge magnets even available for you to purchase. And, uh, yeah, we will crack on with some more automotive adventures here on Hubnut. Farewell. <laughs>